These are grey langurs, also called Hanuman langurs, after the Hindu monkey god. And this is an unusually large family. Hanuman langur troops are typically about 40 strong, but this one has more than 100 members. Their intricate society is bound together in a strict social hierarchy that governs everything from who gets to breed to who gets the best food. Sitting at the very top of the pile is the king, Kumar. That's Langer talk for back off. Within this group of 100 monkeys, he is the one and only adult male, a powerful leader, father to all the youngsters here. He evicts any adolescent males before they can become a threat. But the clock is ticking for Kumar. Alpha males rarely rule a Langer family for longer than three years. To hold onto his throne for as long as possible, he needs to keep the real power brokers happy. The females. More precisely, the young, fertile females. As soon as they're mature enough to reproduce, at about three years old, they join Kumar at the top of the hierarchy as his queens. Together with their children, they are the best fed and most pampered members of the family and they frequently bully those of lower rank. As females grow older and less fertile, they slip down the social ladder. Near the very bottom is Mahati. And her three-week-old daughter, Padma. At 19 years old, Mahati is reaching the end of her reproductive life. Padma is her 15th baby and might be her last. Although Mahati is a very experienced mother, being one of the oldest females means she's now last in line for food. But for her and Padma, this isn't too much of a hardship because they live in a monkey paradise. Jodhpur's Temple Gardens. <laughs> 